I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys. You ready? So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe it's a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. What a punch combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Straight right is there. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. Piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Kick attempt there, blocked. Keep your hands up. Yes. Big kick lands. Yes. Yes. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice loop and punch. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Just out of range with that kick attempt. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though. Still nice body kick lands. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Just unable to quite find that range. Real quick leg kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. I want to see that double jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice head kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, 
Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice leg kick land. Nice punch there by Lee. Slips. Look at him whip his hip. Hits that kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Final seconds of round one. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Five minutes in the books. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. Ready? A high number Ready? of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. Dig and kick. Oh, do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the you fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take it clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Liver kick. Punches. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. What a punch. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Way to hide that leg kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Lee's kick blocked. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice punch, man. Blocked by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. There's that side kick. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Final seconds here of round two. Big kick. Round three next. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. He just missed with the left there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big leg kick land. Good sequence of kicks there by Lee. Great punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. Can you see the evolution of the fighter in front of He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Position. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feel jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. And he's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. That's a big strike right there. Just over three minutes to go. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, man. That jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big head kick. Watch these to the body. Switch kick landed there by Lee. Nice kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, and he 
connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. There's no tell on that leg kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, huge connection on the flying knee, DC. Now we'll see if the longer, taller fighter can move in and follow it up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, He's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big body. Now connects with a right. Nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with beating. Big head kick lands. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Oh, just misses with the kick. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Beautiful strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right times to land those strikes. Can't take many of those. Better check. Oh, uppercut to the dome. Gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Let's go. Let's go first. Look at the turn on that kick. Big body kick lands. Oh, huge block! Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Nice counter left hook. Beautiful body kick. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Big punch land. Ooh. 
big leg kick land. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, beautiful counter on the uppercut. Perfectly timed. Under two minutes to go in the round. Nice straight punch. Flush right hand is true. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Call time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Bring it down. Bring it down. Try to establish that jab. Beautiful hit kick. Just misses with that one. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Beautiful kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin. Throwing that hook and putting it exactly where he needs to go. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Whoa! Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. You better get his elbow down or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage of that weakness. Effective punch there by Lee. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice leg kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. That right hand landed. Big kick land. Trying to establish that jab once again. Back to the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Beautiful punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Slips the punch. And he caught the kick. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Nice strike. Able to check the high kick. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Oh, big head kick land. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. What a body kick. I mean, that right hand landed square. Under three minutes now to go round five. Just misses with the jab. 
take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. His hands are down. Let's set up that high Oh, now. nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Big head kick lands. Blocks that strike. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Steady. Hey, hey. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice body kick. Checks the leg kick. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Than a minute now to go in the round. Back to his pack of kicks here, but just out of range. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Just missed with the leg kick. It's okay, keep going. Ooh, big shot lands. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Straight to the body by Lee. Final ten seconds of the fight. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking, and that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up, and that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. 